Next, John Martin. Uh, ironically enough, I often find that <clears throat> excuse me, nothing nurtures my own desire to write more than uh, alienation. So I'm often <laughs> torn between the, the two desires of writing a lot or, or like having a good life. You know, so, so I never decide which is better. But anyway, uh, I'll start off with something which uh, sort of depicts this. Excommunicated to the barren, naked expanse of self-deprecation, I find the complete lack of conformity in the enticement of sanity's brainchild. In a sow's ear, pentachromatic forces of dynamic enterprise soak in a pool of murky pipe dreams, correlated in a fashion suited to the long-standing realm of trepidated insolence. Standing aside the chasm of voided trust, juxtaposition arc lights skew the sky at random intervals, scheming in private and whipping the eyes with a succinct practicality felt far astray from the myriad cries of alarming expatriates writhing inside. Ill-conceived messages climb to rooftops unguided by the stone bruised translation at the rubble-strewn shore of the river transpired in a valley gone by. A solitary thought tertiary moment in the visionary mist envelops a singular impression, an infinite irregularity. Coming off the stream of consciousness, ripping across my face, is a brutal wind of emotion, is an earthly smell of passion, is a slap of firm reality, not to linger, soon to pass, just out of reach. Moving quickly along from my own misery to someone else's, uh, I'd like to uh, read something uh, I wrote a long time ago, um, entitled Epitaph. Life strives where darkness thrives, where waters dry, the mind swims in gulps of air, and tortured lives till the time and spirit of every day, search the land for breath of memories past. The heat of the sea is really a mirage, mounds of blood and dirt, unknown contents bring to life forgotten spaces in the sand, frightfully taut, dry, and drawn. Light spins a crazy tune where arrayed in dust the future lies crouched upon a den of dead rose petals and flies. Night is today what the grave robber is to a spade. The difference is not relevant to the struggle of unenlightened insects existing in mockery of the entire situation. If the dawn were to come, the light would shine on insane creations destroyed by the light while irradiated dreams remain unconveyed by minds that are starving for far more than thought. That was John Martin.